it's an exciting day here at the Mount Nash Inn, where the filming of Svengali has just begun, bringing big British names such as Johnny Owen and Vicky McClure together with locally sourced actors for a week of filming. Svengali started as an online viral in 2009, and the transformation into a fully funded feature is now underway. The film is based around Dixie, a band manager from South Wales, who takes his new signing to London. I really like London Ash. I spent a lot of time here and I think it's, it's probably one of the friendliest parts of the South Wales Valleys. I always, I've always thought that. It reminds me of what South Wales probably would have been like 50 hundred years ago. It was very welcoming and that's what's you know, been the case since we started filming as well. Um, basically, Johnny was travelling back to Wales at Christmas and heard me on Radio 1 with Edith Bowman. And apparently that's when he said, that's my Michelle. And that's how I got started. I play his girlfriend. Um, she is from Nottingham, so they kind of met probably at some sort of soul night or something, and um, she moves up to Wales to live with him. As well as big name access, the film also gives a platform to unknowns and local faces. Well, in front of us is a park today, there's two doormen, yeah. as Bolton Bass, so uh, we just popped along and we didn't know no, she was uh, she was happening. Like. Um, to be honest, uh, my IG phoned me up and asked me whether I was interested in doing something like this. It's the first time I've done it, but why not? Something, to, something different, something to our TCB. Landlord of the Mountain Ash Inn is Anthony Rivers. Johnny and Anthony have been friends since they were teenagers, and Anthony was happy to help with the location. As well. Yeah, I love Spang I've been a, a big fan of John's and um, Dean Cameron's work. Um, and they're really funny, and, and I just say that. And I, I'm sure it'll be a successful film. After a full day of filming draws to an end, this valley town gets a few hours of well deserved rest before filming continues tomorrow morning. Eric Scarvold, Atrium News.